All right, here here are the quick yes, yes, funny, but don't want to hear it again. Fat rant, please, yes. Please, please, please do the fat rant again. I need an ab workout, yes. Can you rant about this weather, yes. The people who say the New York football giants piss me off. There's a reason for that, though, because they also had the New York Giants baseball team. Uh, F yeah, yeah, again, hell yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hell yes, I want to hear it. Fat girl blast, please. Thanks. Now, it has not, I didn't say anything about a fat girl, did I? But anyway, back to O'Neal. And I do appreciate the uh, overwhelming support for, <laughs> for the yes. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe all these text messages. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, where do you rate O'Neal as uh, the best big man of all time? Wilt. Kareem, is he better than Elijah Wan? Russell, where where you put him? Wait a minute, what about Jerry saying score the ball? Duh, that's that's a little bit different than what I'm talking about. This one, the funniest damn thing I've ever heard on the radio. Hell yes. Fat is always funny. No, it's not. Fat's not always funny. That's not true. Uh, This one, 26 points, 15 rebounds, four titles. Only a couple have done better. Two or three all time. I've pulled into a parking lot. Play the rant. Shaquille is a bit of a mush mouth. He'd be a horrible commentator. This one, I love Shaq, but I could never listen to more than six minutes understanding. Not just a regular yes, but hell yes. That was some funny S blank. I hate when I ask people how they are and they say, great, it's my Friday when it's only Tuesday. Kareem's a baby. I could stay in the fat rant again, but I get that you want to move on. Grant, I disagree with you. Baseball should be no contact. Oh, and hockey too. Give me a break. How how long is that fat rant? How many minutes is that? I got Jody looking at it. 320? All right. So what do you think? Should I do it? All right. I I, I can't. Back there, I want to read. I want to see how many text messages I've got about on this. Back that uh, back the text message. I want to. That is unbelievable. Just can't. I, we will. I, they ran out. We can't even. That's incredible. So I got about what ninety five percent yes, and about five percent no. Wow, that's a lot of text messages in that in that uh, period of time. All right, so here we are uh, to uh, to get us closer to the weekend because I, I I'm on with you until seven. And I got Mark Messier coming up in a few minutes, and then Kenny Albert. Here is uh, what some people say is the vintage all-time best rant. Grand's Rant. I'll tell you what matters to me. Comfort matters to me. Comfort. That's what matters to me. So I'm flying to New York last night. Flight leaves at, what, 1150, and we've all done this. So don't be sitting there telling me you've never done this. You're in your seat. And you're looking at all the people walk onto the plane. And you see an obese person come on. You go, oh, my gosh, please, please don't sit next to me. We've all done it. Now, I also understand that there are probably some obese people listening to me right now. And and work your way through this rant with me. Don't hang up on me yet. Don't switch yet. I've got nothing against. Listen, we're all different. Some are fat. Some are skinny. Some are beautiful. Some are ugly. Hey, that's just the way the world works. But I paid $400 and a $30 upgrade to get more leg room in my seat last night. And then I've got this lady sitting down next to me who's flat out fat, and that's fine. If you can sit in your seat, I got no problem with that. But when when you're fat and your arm is taking one-third of my chair, I've got a damn problem with that. I'm telling you right now, if I had the money, I'd run an airline. I'd have a damn scale right there as you go through the gate. And I'd have a, I'd have a, a, a measuring device for width. You know how they put the bags in the little square compartment before you get on? Uh-uh, sir. Your bag is just too big. We're going to have to check it. I'm like, oh, come on. It will fit in the overhead. Nope. We have to check it, sir. Here's your, here's your little uh, uh, check stub. You can pick it up when you land. 
It will be in the baggage claim. And you're all pissed, and you get on the airplane, and you're like, you know, you can't believe it. And then you get on the plane, and you see bags that were bigger than yours, but they caught you. So if they can do it for bags, why can't they do it for people? I paid $430 for my seat last night, all right? All I want is my seat. I am entitled to my seat. But when I've got the starting right tackle for my New York football Giants sitting next to me, and half of their body is in my seat, I've got a problem with that. The airlines need to do something about this. Hey, listen, if you're fat and you're flying on an airplane, lose some freaking weight or buy two seats. But don't take up part of my seat, especially on a on a red eye. You know, I was hoping to get a little bit of sleep last night. You ever try to sleep in a bread box? Not too comfortable. I'm pinned in there like a little sardine against that. I'm in a window seat. Five hours I'm on that plane. And I'm sitting next to a lady that's got to be like three and a quarter. I even took a picture of it and I, I put it on Twitter. So people could know what I'm talking about. Hey, I, you know what? I'm 6'2", 220. I'm in good shape. I'm not, hey, listen, I'm not going to be in the uh, decathlon in London this summer, okay? But my seat is my seat. And there is nothing worse. And if anybody, is, if you have never done this before and you've flown, you're a liar. Either that or you're already obese and you know exactly what I'm talking about either way. We've all done it. And don't tell me you've never been on that plane with that empty seat next to you and you're sitting there and you're just praying that if somebody's going to sit next to you, they're not 350 pounds. So welcome to New York. That was my flight last night. I landed at 8 o'clock as soon as I got off that airplane. I was like Bob Hayes in his prime running through that jetway to get some space. I ran from that airplane into the terminal. I think I did about a 43840. Enough of these, you know, you pay for your seat, you get your seat. Here's the other thing. If you, if, if you don't think that's a good rule, then they should have to compensate me. You're going to take part of my seat, then you pay me part of my airfare. I think that's fair. All right. So I got that out of my system. If you want to see the pictures, just go to at Grant Napier show and you can see what I'm talking about. And you'll see that I am not exaggerating, not exaggerating. And that's my rant for today. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am not well. There is definitely something wrong with me. There just, there really is. There is something wrong with me. I don't know what it is, but I, I, I have issues. There is definitely something wrong with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. How about this one? Play it every Friday. You can't help but laugh. Best rant ever. This one. Oh my God, Grant, you are killing me right now. This rant is amazing. L M A O, a freaking bread box. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, how about this one? Obesity is a disease, you gutless, no talent pig. Shame on you. It's a disease? Wow. All right, so shame on me. Ha, ha, ha. I love the fat rant, Grant. Amazing. Let me ask you something. If it's a disease, how come when I watch The Biggest Loser... These people with effort and diet can lose hundreds of pounds. Explain that to me, would you please? It's a disease. How about laziness? All right? How about stupidity for a lot of people? I'm not saying that some people aren't afflicted with a disease that makes them obese. I get that. But when I watch The Biggest Loser, which, you know, it's not my favorite show, but I've watched it before. How come those people are able to lose great amounts of weight with discipline with work ethic, with diet. OMG, Grant, make sure this gets on your website. It's been on the website. This one, I'm crying while driving. Grant, you are the voice to the common man. Love it. This one, greatest rant. Grant, the only thing better than that rant would be playing it in double speed. This text, oh, Lord, Grant, stop. I can't drive. L-M-A-O. L-M-A-O, they should check in fat people like a carry-on. So for the people that are afflicted with a disease, this is not about you. For the other people that are just flat out lazy, this is directed towards you. I mean, seriously. Nothing wrong with you. Spot on, Grant. Did you get her number? LOL. Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. It was 1-800-V-E-R-Y-F-A-T. That was the number I got. All right. So enough in messing around. I got to get back to sports.